Hello again, uh, this is a video on radioisotopes. Um, uh, this is a, an application uh, for U12 SACE in South Australia. Um, radioisotopes are isotopes in a, of an element that are radioactive. Um, so these are unstable nuclei and uh, they they like to emit particles or light for that matter. Um, now I'm just going to say that a red circle is a proton for this video and a grey circle is of course a uh, neutron spelt N-E-U-T-R-O-N and so here's our here's a nucleus um, it could be any nucleus. I'm going to say it's a specific nucleus in a second, but um, I'm, I'm not going to draw anywhere near enough protons and neutrons for for the nucleus I'm going to describe, but um, this will do. Um, and so um, radioisotopes are, are created by um, changing uh, the number of nucleons in in an element, and so, for instance, this this element here has uh, has a certain number of neutrons and a certain number of protons. The number of protons, of course, are uh, uh, what we how we denote that this is a particular type of element, and uh, the number of neutrons uh, helps us to calculate its mass number. So. Um, and I'm going to call this, this is copper for this example. Um, this is a copper nucleus. And so to create a radioisotope of copper, of course copper by itself is not, uh, is, is not radioactive, but I can change uh, the makeup of its nucleus by, by firing things at it. And uh, one way I can do that, do that is I can, I can send a, a neutron in and if I send a neutron towards this nucleus um, it doesn't always take on the neutron but sometimes it does and uh, and and if it does uh, then we have an isotope uh, of course the number of protons hasn't changed so it's still copper it just has a different number of neutrons in it so um, and here's how we do this so um, what we can do is we can place uh, well, what they do in Sydney at Lucas Heights uh, nuclear reactor they, they, they place uh, uh, some samples of copper into their nuclear reactor and of course in a nuclear reactor the, the environment is, is neutron rich and uh, the, the neutrons um, specifically have low kinetic energies um, now this is necessary because um, if we if if it's moving too fast towards this nucleus, then the the nucleus doesn't necessarily want to want to take on that neutron. The the neutron can simply pass straight through the nucleus, or it can it can blow it apart, or it can just be deflected off of the side. And and in order to make this uh, this new isotope of copper, we don't want any of those things to happen. So low kinetic energy neutron. Um, and, and 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 lots of these in the environment where the copper is. Um, the neutron, of course, uh, doesn't doesn't experience the uh, coulombic repulsive force that the proton will. Uh, and in another video shortly, um, I'm going to show you how to make radioisotopes with with protons. But so. Uh, send a neutron in. It doesn't feel the coulombic repulsive force, and and hence um, uh, doesn't doesn't want to be deflected away by that repulsive force. So at Lucas Heights, they make uh, copper sixty four, and um, and we do that. By this reaction, um, this way, 
that's the insignia for a neutron of course uh, uh, mass number of one atomic number of zero um, regular everyday copper and then we have this isotope radioisotope of copper So, uh, and and this doesn't happen immediately. They they place a, a, a bunch of copper in the nuclear reactor. This is a very simple explanation, of course, and uh, and and they expose it to this neutron rich environment for for up to a couple of weeks, I believe, and and over time, uh, enough neutrons come into contact with the the, the copper sixty three, uh, and 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 enough neutrons are taken up by the copper 63 to make a sufficient amount of copper 64 the radioisotope of copper um, to use in medical imaging and copper 64 has uh, has has a, a half-life of about 12 hours which is which is useful because Lucas Heights isn't very far out of Sydney and it would be very easy to take some into uh, the hospitals in Sydney and and use it for medical imaging and uh, they, they do that um, the medical imaging um, they do that in hospitals by um, putting some of this this stuff into into people's bodies and um, uh, uh, the, the organism takes up the cells in the organism take up some of this copper, certain organs in the body take up some of this copper, and um, and and the copper shows up. It, it org different organs take up more copper than the surrounding tissues, and so um, uh, by looking at the copper that's in the body with a particular type of medical imaging, uh, we can see that organ and what how that organ uh, is without any invasive surgery or anything like that. So. Um, that's why it's useful and of course um, copper 64 doesn't have a long um, uh, half-life and uh, it doesn't stay very long radioactive inside people's bodies and therefore doing harm to them or further harm to them um, so next video we'll talk about uh, protons and changing uh, changing nuclei via uh, sending protons in, um, which is quite a different process indeed. Thanks for watching.